Hi, it's Paula here from Scrappy Fix and Moxie Mojo. Just wanting to do a very quick haul video with some stuff that I've picked up online from AliExpress and also here in New Zealand. And that's following on from the BB Craft haul where I picked up this wax seal. So yeah, so that was the first one I got and after that I decided that I really needed some more. Well, I didn't need some more, but I wanted some more. So let's show you what I've got. So move those all out of the way for now. So this was the first purchase that I got from here in New Zealand. And that is from inktea.co.nz. I bought a spoon, which I have christened, as you can see, along with a little wee tea light, um, which I will no doubt use at some stage soon. But what I wanted to do now was just show the selection of wax sticks that I got. These were what I found here in New Zealand. Um, from one particular company that was inktea.co.nz I did purchase some more so not sponsored in any way and I got a selection of colours mainly because I didn't know what they were like so I wanted to give everything a go the matte ones that I got are really only these three red, black and white and yes they all have the wicks in them that's the three and I have used part of the white one. Use the blue and jade colour I'd call it. Now this one here is quite glittery. I don't know if you can see that there. But we've got the metallics in the two pinks. Like a pale pink and a hot pink. And then we've got, um, that one's kind of glittery as well. Then I think that might be the cream bean. It's all like the traditional colour. Royal red or something like that. A pearl white and that's got um, quite a nice look to it. Silver and like a black or a metallic black so it's probably a like a gunmetal grey. It's got almost like an aqua gloss or glitter to it. Some of these have got glitter some of them don't. So for instance what have we got here? This gold's got glitter in it, the, uh, that one's got a glitter in it, and that one's got a glitter in it. Um, the rest are just like a metallic shade. So, nice selection there. So we'll shift those out of the way now. I have opened these parcels so I could check what was in here. But I haven't used anything as yet. Picked up um, five spoons. Now these are actually um, a little bit smaller than what I was expecting. Comparing the spoon to this one here that I have used, um, they are deeper in the spoon itself, but the head is smaller. I'd say they work out at the same size. So that one, I was able to get enough to do a seal they will be sort of nice small seals. This is a selection of different mixed combos of the wax beads. So I've got this one here and hopefully there's not too, uh, not too much light coming in from the window. That sort of white, bit of red and burgundy, golds and bronze. I've got this one here which is um, pearl white, a pearl pink, yellow gold, like a skin tone, and then some bronze. Got this one here, which is more sort of the greens, yellows, golds, and like a coppery color, as well as some white. So nice shades of green there. We've got this one here, which has got some hot pink. You can just see that there. Whites, 
teal, like an olive green, some purples in there, quite a nice little mauvey purple colour. And then this one, which is a real mixed bag of just about every colour under the sun. There's some black, white, hot pink, yellow, nice deep purple, some blues, um, greens, browns, coppers, reds, burgundies, you name it. I think I've got one or two of every colour in there. Although some of them there seem to be a few more of. So lots of different waxes there to have a play with though I will probably need to restock very soon. We've got this one. So this comes with a handle as well as the separate head. So I'll take them both out. Nice wooden handle because I know um, some came and it was just the head on its own but hopefully that should all be interchangeable. And this one here is a beautiful bumblebee with the honeycomb look behind it. I like that one or this one with the background compared to just the plain bumblebee. I thought that was more interesting. Just some awesome oh, heads in here. Now these are not engraved heads so I've got a square and a round. So now that one is the, uh, looks like 25 mil. So let's just check that. So yep, so that's one inch 25 mils. This is one and one eighth. So that's about 30 millimeters. And this one is 30 millimeters as well. So these are a little bit larger than normal, which is what I wanted. And I just wanted them flat um, for like putting over enclosures or such as like sequins or flowers, um, just something like that to experiment with. Um, let's just try. So is that gonna fit on there? Yep. So that fits, so they're all interchangeable, so I don't need to worry about that. So if I sit these up right there, we can see them. Another couple of heads. So we've got, ah oh yes, this one here is from Harry Potter. And that is, what does it say, Platform King's Cross Station 9 and 3 quarters. I couldn't resist getting a Harry Potter one. Had to get that and again, yep, interchangeable head. So don't need to worry about the other handles. And that's that same 30mm size, interesting to see. I think that must be the only large one I've, large one I've got. And then this one, I thought was something really different was I'm trying to get it in the center there was a square one that was engraved and it's got like a gears and clock so I'm interested to see how that turns out and there's some words written underneath which I can't for the life of me read so again we'll see how that goes yep that fits and that one must be the 25 mils square so yep so that's the same so I should put all right let's put all the 30 mils together and we've got our 25 mils this one is a with a clock with gears in the middle I'm definitely sort of a steampunk person love that and this looks to be again yep 30 mils So we've got that one there, we'll just take that off so it can sit together with that. Love that one with the clock and gears. These two I love and they were the most expensive ones I bought um, but they had that topography look. I just love the lettering on them. This one I really love but I think this one's cute as well. So. They should go nicely 
on some journals. And these ones were all described as geometric designs. And again, I just absolutely love them. So we have those three there. So we've got this one, which is kind of like a mermaid scale type look. Yeah, if you can just see that there. I thought that one was cute. So one. We've got another, this one was just the honeycomb lock, but I thought that will be nice. And then this one, kind of like a flower, but reminds me of the, like the old spirographs that you used to have as kids. We've got um, four that are 30 mils, and then I've got seven that are, that's just going to annoy me, seven that are 25 mils plus i have the original one that i got from um bb craft so that's that and now i now have a selection of handles as well so they're all different sizes it's got two four six eight handles and i've got 12 stamps so we've got handles then we've got and i'll just put sort of one spoon in there we've got some spoons we also have the different waxes and these i'm going to now split up and put into some storage containers so that i can um sort out and pick which ones i want rather than having to dive through the bags so thank you for joining me i will be doing some videos shortly to show you what these seals look like and also how i use them so now that i've got something to have a play with watch the space for seeing if i can get them all to work properly without burning my fingers setting the place on fire so thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Bye.